sound test mic sound check hey what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic i'm going to show you how to export an excel data from dynamo to excel so as you can see these following notes that you are seeing are from the last exercise that we did so we have the file path node file prop path node string data import excel least rest of items and least first item all right so again i'll be using the excel uh, excel file that we are using uh for this one so this is not my uh my exercise i have learned this one from ian zeigel so i'm using his data file so let's get started so the file that we are going to use this one just a review so i'm going to select a browse here so i'll be using this time retail shell types so last time this is the file that we have used planting schedule so this is the one that i created so this is the one that i got from mr I, uh, ian segel so i learned this one from him so it's not my uh tutorial actually so this is his tutorial so i'm just sh sharing it to you guys so i'm going to select uh retail shell types so i'm going to select that as my file path all right so the next thing that we are going to do here is i'm going to connect it here to my path so these nodes that we are seeing right now these are the nodes for you to be able to import an excel file to dynamo Okay, so after this one, I'm going to show you how to export an Excel data from Dynamo to Excel. All right. Now, so for the data import Excel, so we need to connect our file here. So again, this is just an exercise. If you still remember, last time we have grouped this group of nodes into a one group, which is uh, import data uh, in Excel or from Excel. All right, so I'm going to connect the string here to my sheet name, which is actually our uh, sheet sheet one, right? Enter, oops, sheet one, and then I'll just click outside. All right, so as you can see, automatically my Excel here opens, so which is this one. All right, so I'm just going to minimize this one. So by the way, I'm showing here on my uh, column A, number column b is the description columns is the within inches color d in height in inches and letter is the number of shelves so i'm just going to minimize this first again we have successfully imported our imported data from excel to dynamo so proof is that automatically our excel opened so i'm just going to minimize this one all right so the next thing that we are going to do if we want to get the first item on our on our excel so i'm going to use list first item so i'm going to connect the list here this one all right so if you're going to hover your pointer to the node you'll be able to see here that i get the first uh, item from my excel file which is my uh first row here so which is the number description width height and shelves all right so these are the data that i got using list first item now if i'm going to connect my data to my list rest of items i'm going to connect that and then, and then hover my pointer and then click there you go so i should be able to get all the rest of the items which includes the row number two with which is this one s1 shirts 3642 s1 shirts 3642 uh, 48 and 2 so as you can see on my index 0 okay index 0 which is number that is actually my column okay so all index 0 here it shows the number okay so all index 1 it shows the description okay the rest of the list here it shows the description now so let us uh, add another a node here so i'm going to show you another node which is uh transpose okay so that is the node that we are going to add here list transpose so let's check that one out so from our library i'm going to type list transpose so i'm going to connect this so as you can see this node is used to organize our list so i'm going to connect this one or i'm going to click that and then i'm going to put it here okay <laughs> right 
Now, as you can see, it asks for a list here. So for this one, uh, let me connect my uh, list rest of items here. Okay. So I'm going to connect that. Press connect. Alright, and then hover my pointer so you can see there's the output. Alright, it's pretty much the same as this one. Okay, so as you can see, it's transpose all the S1 on the index 0. As you can see, the index 0 here, right? It shows S1 and then index number 2, S2. Uh, index number 1 is S2. Okay, so as you can see, it shows here on the index 0. So it shows all the index 0, S1, S2, P1, S1, S2, P1, and then the rest uh is like that okay so p2 all the index zero is now listed here nicely all right so same with the index one and same with the other indexes here index one is this one index one all right so it shows here all the index one so uh shirts shirts pants shirts shirts uh pants Okay, so same with our other index here, like, like for example, our index number, index number two, if I'm going to move this down, so that's my index number two, so all the index number two, so 36, 36, 36, 36, and 24, so you can use this to organize your uh, list using list transpose so if i go to my index number three so it shows here all the index number three like 48 60 there you go 48 60 uh, what else uh, 36 okay index oh i'm sorry uh 48 so that's our index number three so there you go and so on and so forth okay so that's how you use your list transpose so this is one node that we can use to organize our list now so let us add some more uh, node here so if you still remember we have this node that we call the list get item at index so I'm going to click that all right so there you go let me just move this down here uh, to the right and then this is the node that we are going to use so as you can see for this node it's asking for a list and it's asking for a index okay so let's say for example we want to get the uh, index number two okay so we want to get all the index number two so what is our index number two so our index number two that is the width in inches right all the index number two here so that will be our uh width in inches so within inches index number uh index number two okay so it starts with uh 36 36 24 36 there you go so i want to connect this list here okay but i want to get only the index number two data Okay, so that is what I want for this one. So I'm going to get a number here. So number. There you go. So I'm going to type here 2 and then click outside. And then I'm going to move that there. So as you can see, the preview now is this one. So it gets only the index number 2 here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this because I want to get the area. All right, so I'm going to copy this, Control C and then Control V. There you go. But I'm going to disconnect it first. All right. So I'm going to use again this list, and then this is our width. So the next thing that I want to get is the height. All right. So I want to get the height. So as you can see, we have here the width list, and then I also want the height. So I'm going to copy this, Control C and then Control V. There you go. So I'm going to connect this. I'm going to type here first number 3 for me to be able to get all this list here, which is our height. Alright, so I'm going to move that there. Now, as you can see, this is the output of our 
list get item at index on our number three. So let me just pin this one. There you go. Okay, so if you want to get the area, so you need to multiply these two. So I'm going to look for uh, multiplication. Multiply. There you go. Multiply. So we need to connect our X and Y here. So I'm going to connect my list here. Okay, all this list multiply by this list here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so as you can see it, it's something like this. So 36 times 48 is equal to 1,708. Okay. Excuse me for my voice because I'm kind of under the weather right now. But anyway, the show must go on. So there you go. So we just got the area, but this one is in square inches. Okay, so let's say, for example, for us to be able to make it more manageable, I'm going to convert this to square feet. Okay, square feet. So that is what we are going to do. So we are going to convert this one to square feet. So how to do that? So all we have to do is to divide these values over 144. So that is the conversion to square foot. All right, so I'm going to look for division. Division, all right? division or uh, divide so there's no division there you go this one so i'm going to click that all right so all these uh values here so i'm going to put that to my x but for my uh division here i'm going to divide all these values by 144 so i need to get a number so i'm going to click the number and control C and then control V again. So I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to key in here 144. Okay, so let us now connect this one. There you go. Then you hover, you click. So this is now the output in square foot. So basically it's something like this. 1728. Okay, 1728 divided by 144 is equal to 12. So 2160 or yeah 2160 divided by 144 equals 50 and so on and so forth. So basically that's how you use your uh, multiplication, division, least get, item at index and least transpose. All right, so after that, so let us now try to export data from this Dynamo to our Excel. Okay, so I'm going to uh turn on my uh, i'm going to move my excel so as you can see what i want to do is i want to include these values here all right so i want to put it here all right so how to do that so we need to get an exporter to excel so i'm going to type here excel Alright, so we only have two options here. So we have import, which is what we have used already, which is this one. So that is the, this is the import Excel. So let us now try to use export Excel. So let's click that one. Alright, so now it's asking for multiple nodes here. So we need to include the file path. So no problem with that. So I'll just look for file path. Alright, so click. There you go. So that's our file path. What else? So we need to include the sheet name. So I'm going to key in here string because I'm going to type uh, sheet number one. So like sheet number one because here on our Excel, it's sheet number one. So we need to make sure sheet number one is exactly written to our string here. So I'm going to connect that there, sheet name. And then for the file path, so let's look for the Excel file that we are using. There you go. And then let's connect it there. All right, so what's next? The next thing is start row. So where are we going to start? So we want to start here at this row. All right. So remember in Dynamo, every time you count, it starts with zero. So basically, this is our zero. And then this is one. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so this is our 0. And then this is our 1. 
All right. So we are going to use a uh, uh, row number one. Okay, this one. So this is our row number one because it starts with zero, and then this is now our one. All right. So let's look for number. So number. So I'm going to click that. There you go. So I'm going to key in here number one. Click outside and then connect. Now for our start column. So again, it's in Dynamo, it starts with zero. So this is our zero. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Copy, control C, control V, and then you can type here number five. All right, and then let's take a look. All right, so that's now what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect this now here. So I'm going to put that there. Column, start column. There you go. Okay. Now, what are the data that we want to be included here? Okay. So, what are the data? So, we already specified the row. We already specified the column. To start, we already specified the file path, the, the sheet name. So, where are the data? So, the data are this one. Okay. So, I'm going to click that. And then, I'm going to connect that there to the data. Now, this is the one that we'll show here. So we should be able to see this data, this list here. Okay. So I'm going to connect that. There you go. And then let's look back again on our Excel here. There you go. It's now added. Okay. It's, so basically, that's how you export data from Excel in Dynamo to your uh excel file okay so these are the tools that you need to use oh it's a bit it's hanging right now okay anyway so those are the things that you need to do okay so as you can see it's now added here so if you want you can now save this file and your detail shelf types excel files now updated thanks to these data files that we have here in our excel on our Dynamo, which is export to Excel. The other one is import to Dynamo from Excel. Alright, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it in the comment section below and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.